Pinky. Wow, that is rude. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another video. So, I'm trying to like finish up some work so I can go out and go shopping. Today, we are going shopping for makeup. I always get this question from everyone who's like gonna come to Japan or come live in Japan. They're like, where do you get your makeup? And honestly, nine times out of 10, when I come home here in California to visit, I stock up, take everything back. That's how I get my makeup. You can find some stuff online, for example, on Amazon. Pretty Little Things has a couple of items. I heard that Fenty shipped. We used to have an NY next door or is it NYX, in Harajuku. And for some odd reason, it closed and I'm so surprised because that was such a popular store, it didn't make no sense. And it was one of the only ones selling like makeup for dark skin girls. So anyways, today we're gonna go shopping for a bunch of makeup, but I have a bunch of work to do. But like my energy level is just... So we're gonna go get a coffee. I'm gonna come back here, finish work, and then we're gonna go get some makeup. Hey! Starbucks needs to give me some kind of like special discount because I stay over here and I swear I'm what's keeping the lights on. Like if they didn't have me, they wouldn't make no money. I'm still on Tokyo time. That's the problem. So I end up staying up pretty much all night and then I try to still wake up early and then I'm just like dead by 12 o'clock. This is some some extreme jet lag. It usually does not last this long. I don't know what's going on, y'all. Can I get the salted caramel cream nitro cold brew in grande? Is it possible to put an extra shot in that? Our money is like not as strong or sturdy as Japanese yet. I don't know why. It's so weird. I keep accidentally ripping up dollars because they're so fragile. I never even noticed that they were fragile until now. I'm like, oh, you can't do all the things the yen can do. I'm one of those uh, wallet hoarding people and it is so full. So every time I like close it, money gets like stuck in the zipper. The yen will survive, but the dollar begins all ripped up. I ripped up two dollars and I was like, no. Thank you. Got the good. I get the salted caramel cold brew nitro blah. I don't know. The name is way too long. Y'all gotta do better. And we don't have this in Japan. So every time I come here, this is like my everyday drink. But it has like so much sugar in it. So I usually ask them to not put any pumps of caramel in there. But you know, today I could use the extra energy. Give me some sugar. Another thing that I noticed, like I get it, they switched over to these like sippy cup lids so you don't need a straw, but like for the people that do want a straw, they're still doing plastic straws. Like what? I could've sworn America was the main ones killing the turtles, what happened? In Japan, if you ask for a straw, we have paper straws now. I thought for sure America would have those. Guess I can't have a straw anymore. So I came with two suitcases. This one has like all my stuff in there. I actually did not bring that much stuff because I was planning on shopping when I came here. And then I have the second bag here. It's pretty big. This entire bag was filled with just souvenirs for people here. So after I gave them all their souvenirs, it's nice and empty and I can like load this up with stuff for myself to go back. So that's basically what I do. This is my hometown. So I had like a lot of souvenirs to bring. I mean, my friends are here, my family's here. Speaking of souvenirs, today's video is in collaboration with Boxu. Boxu is a monthly snack box subscription service. They deliver an assortment of premium Japanese snacks and tea pairings straight to your door from Japan. Every month you're gonna receive a box and each box has a different theme. And every time the snacks are different. I just think this is so fun. You never know what you're gonna get and you always get to try new stuff that you probably wouldn't have otherwise. It comes with this cool little culture guide. It gives you all the information on the snacks, where exactly in Japan they're from, who makes them, all kind of stuff. Every time I come to visit, I always bring my family snack souvenirs. And this time, Boxu just made my job so much easier because I didn't have to run around to different stores and getting stuff. So yeah, this was a super great idea for coming back home. I'm gonna have my family like try out some of these and see how they like them. I did notice one of my favorite snacks are in here, which is this one, the dondonyaki. What's this? There's a lot. I don't even know which one you should try first. It. Try this one. That one's sweet. What is that? Dang. Mm. Wow. What is that? Daddy, what's it got here? I like that one. Mm, that's extremely good. Right? Mm. Now this one's my favorite. I like that. What that is? <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. Got a lot of flavor, huh? Now that's also, I have something special for you guys. For the month of June only, use my code SUNDAY20 to get 20% off your first authentic Japanese snack box from Boxu. Make sure you guys take advantage of this limited time offer. Thank you again, Boxu, for sponsoring today's video. So now that my suitcase is completely empty, let's go fill it with makeup. Like, um... She just keep eating. There's something that I know. That's what I was saying. I can't put my finger on. <laughs> we don't... 
Rito, no. chili cheese fries? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but they're good. I definitely wanted to go to the mall and buy some name brand makeup, but I'm thinking we should go to the drugstore, stock up on the cheap stuff first, and then whatever I can't find, get at the mall. Like, comment down below, I swear, drugstore makeup is actually really bomb. They have so many really good products like Maybelline and CoverGirl, all that stuff. Also, I know a lot of people don't know this, but I actually used to work for Milani and Jordana Cosmetics, so I had the opportunity to try so much of their makeup, because every time we would go shoot, they would just send us home with buckets. CoverGirl also, I worked with CoverGirl obviously when I did Top Model, and I literally, I kid you not, I still have leftover makeup from Top Model. We were transported everywhere. Transported sounds like a piece of cargo. We were driven everywhere in a limo, and the limo has like, you know, cup holders and little compartments. All of the compartments in the limo was stocked constantly with CoverGirl makeup. And they're like, just take anything, take it all, fill up your bag. I gave away so much CoverGirl makeup, and I still ended up having a butt ton left over. <laughs> As for the Milani photo shoot, I definitely already ran out, but I discovered my absolute favorite liquid eyeliner. To this day, I have not found a better eyeliner in my life, and I'm praying that it's not discontinued. They do that a lot. Every time I have a favorite, it's gone. I'm ready for quality. Look at this. Sweat and bricks touch my face. All my makeup is wiped off. All right, although I said drugstore brand, we're actually in Target. Totally not makeup, but I needed to get some more like NyQuil and ZQuil. This is actually illegal in Japan and they don't sell it. It's so annoying. I always use this L'Oreal True Match foundation. That's what I use to outline my eyebrows. I actually don't use concealer because concealer is like really thick and gets oily with time. I don't know. I just, I just prefer that. I always get one a little bit lighter. N7 and W8. Now this is the foundation that I have just been using for years. I don't know why. Like if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I do want to try some better foundations, but yeah, this Revlon Color Stay, this is what I've been using for forever. So I'm definitely going to stock up because I know it's good and it's cheap. I am the color Caramel, but really I got so, so much darker here just being here this short amount of time. So I think I'm gonna get a darker one to just like mix with it. I'm getting two caramels and one cappuccino. This is another foundation that I like here, the Maybelline Fit Me, but I don't remember what my color is. So we're gonna sit here and struggle for a little while. This is hard. I just know I'm gonna get this wrong. Okay, because I don't know, I'm just gonna get one of these. This one is cappuccino, 340. I absolutely love these. Um, nice and cheap, and they work. I also use them for my wigs. The only problem is they don't have very many colors. I don't think they have the color I need at all. No! What the heck is this? Black Radiant? Y'all coming out with new stuff that I don't even know about? What is this, y'all? We got new brands, y'all? It was new to me. I don't know what this is, but I'm excited they got black people on the advertisement. It, it sounds like it's made for us. This looks like it's actually gonna be red enough. Yeah, very sad. I literally came over here for this. Like, this was the special thing that I needed. This is their eyebrow pencil that I absolutely love. I will never in my life switch my eyebrow pencil. But this is not the color I need. I need the black one and they only have brown. I think people come in here and suck up. They know what's good. So I'm gonna probably have to go somewhere else to find these. Found Milani and as I expected, I don't see the liquid eyeliner that they had. It's rather the packaging has been changed or they just don't have it anymore. I see some eyeliner, but I know for a fact this is not it. It used to come in like a little glass vial. Oh my god, why would you discontinue your best product? We need to have a talk. I'm wondering if I should just give this other one a try. Oh my god, not sponsored, but whoa, they're selling native in Target. Yo, this deodorant is bomb. All right, they actually didn't have as much as I thought they would, so I got a little bit of stuff, but I didn't get half the stuff that I needed. So now I'm gonna go in the mall and go look for the other stuff that's gonna be way more expensive. Goodies acquired, thank you Target. But I did not get the two items I was the most excited about, which was the eyebrow pencil and the eyeliner. Now we're gonna go, I think I'm gonna go to Sephora. Thank you to everyone over on Instagram. I asked you guys to give me recommendations on what makeup I should buy. I got so, so many recommendations. Like I'm kind of overwhelmed. Some of these brands I know of, some of them I don't. Everything y'all recommended, I've never tried. And also, I have never ever tried any Fenty products. Not a glitter, not a shimmer, nothing. But 
so many of you guys recommended Fenty. A lot of that stuff looked really expensive, but we're gonna check it out anyways. I pretty much never ever shopped in Sephora. I used to be a really strong MAC girl. MAC foundation is really, really damaging to my skin, and like, no, I don't want to have to wear makeup. So yeah, I gave up MAC a long time ago. I'm not going there. I'm gonna go to Sephora and see if they have some of these brands you guys recommended. see the number one brand you guys recommended which was Pat McGarth. I swear that sounds like a country singer. Never heard of her. I didn't even know she was black but a lot of you guys warned me it's really really expensive but extremely worth it so I'm just like maybe I should try it out. It looks really um light. I don't think that's for me. Okay this is the only Pat McGarth like stuff they have in the entire place. I'm not in love with the colors and it's really expensive but I kind of wanted to try it out because every one of y'all recommended this but like I don't really wear these colors. There's only one left. I'm looking for Fenty, Pat Migger, that, that country singer named girl, Mented, Laura Mercier. I'm probably butchering the names of all this stuff, guys. Okay, here is the number one setting powder. Oh my god, it says number one setting powder. <laughs> this was the number one setting powder that was requested to me. I'm trying to find the price. <clears throat> I say $39. What's wrong with y'all? I do like how they have multiple shades. Like every time I try to find some setting powder, it's like yellow or white and that's it. So this like tan one, medium deep, I might get that. Like shouldn't setting powder be a little bit lighter? I don't know. Oh. I have no idea what type I'm supposed to get. So I'm gonna get the brown one and like a lighter one. I never even knew Clinique sold makeup. They have like my favorite perfume. I wonder if their makeup is any good. See, this is how you advertise. I might just buy this just because they're on here. I love both of them. Pretty sure I've heard some amazing things about Armani's foundation, but like $64? Like what, what does it do? Do I get a new face? Fenty has so many shades. This is very impressive, but also very overwhelming. Every single one of you guys recommended Fenty, but you didn't tell me what to get. So uh, I'm over here struggling. I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm gonna get one of their concealers. Okay, I found this concealer. It says Bright Fix. I don't know. I like the bottle. I can't even explain to y'all how overwhelming this is. Every time I turn a corner, there's other products. Okay, I think I'm gonna go for highlighter or bronzer. I don't even know the difference between the two. Jesus, take the wheel. Okay, I do love this cream blush. I think I'm gonna try this out. I've never used bronzer in my life, but I'm gonna try out this instant warm bronzer from Fenty. I like love this company. Actually, Tyra Banks is the one who introduced me to this. She gave us like these little gift boxes a long time ago and everything was from Fresh. Every product in there was so dang amazing. This brand is everything. I thought this was like a cheap drugstore brand, but these prices, these are drugstore prices. I've always wanted to try milk. I've never tried any of their stuff before, but I don't know about these prices though. All right, I think I'm done. I got way more than I should have, and I'm scared when I go up this register, it's gonna be bad. I still need a couple of things like lip liner and lashes. hard to do like swatch tests because you have to swatch it on the back of your hand but my hand is like six shades darker than my face so I'm hoping I got the right colors for everything I did get a lot of Fenty stuff so we'll see also spending like $330 and they gave me this ghetto like I don't even get the Sephora bag for my first Sephora purchase just kidding I'm being petty last stop for today we're at EXO beauty supply store this is where I get my lashes from and a lot of my lip liners once again affordable I actually really like this foundation. I 
think I'm gonna stock up on some of these too. Now, lip liners are my thing. So many of y'all always recommend like lipsticks or lip glosses, but I just like a simple lip liner. This is the one. This LA Girl lip liner, color Berry Wine. Good, they have more of the LA Girl Pro Concealer, so I'm gonna get it here then. I'm gonna have to go out again because there's a couple of things that I'm missing, but I have time, so it's fine. Also, if you guys have any recommendations for stuff you think I should get or pick up before I leave, let me know. I think this is a good start. All right, so here is everything that I got. We have this Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. I got mine in the color Cappuccino. These L'Oreal True Match foundations I actually use to outline my eyebrows. I did get this Milani eyeliner, but this is not the eyeliner that I love. I think they stopped selling it, to be honest, but I bought this just in case so I can try it out. This Black Radiance. Um, Never heard of this before in my life, but you know I had to get something. Um, so I got this red blush. Two LA Girl Pro concealers, a whole bunch of lip liners, and I pretty much just wear the same colors all the time. So I just stocked up on a bunch of like reds and burgundies. I have a dark brown in there too. Literally a million of you guys have recommended Fenty Beauty. I haven't tried anything from Fenty. So I'm kind of excited. I feel like I was, you know, I was behind. First one, this Bright Fix Eye Brightener, and I got it in the color Honey. This I'm very excited for. This is their Gloss Balm Cream. I got it in the color Cookie Jar. I pretty much wear the same type of lipstick all the time, the same colors, but I was being at Adventurous and I got a different color. So this is like a, it's like a, a orange brown color. Okay. That's actually really pretty. Wow, yeah, I did it. I swear, every time I buy a new lipstick, lip gloss, anything, it's always bad. I always look like a crackhead. Oh, I'm so happy. Yay, okay, Fenty, yes. Got this Anastasia brow pencil. Never tried any of their products before, but I've heard a lot about them, so yeah. Okay, you guys recommended this country singer. Okay, she's not a country singer, I have to stop. Pat McGarth, tell me that don't sound like a country singer. I don't even know what this is, to be honest. It says mini smoky eye duo. Comes with a mascara and I have no idea what the other thing is. Glide eye pencil, no idea. Also, Pat McGarth, I got this extremely overpriced eyeshadow palette. Packaging is mega cute though. I don't know, with this price, I was expecting there to be a TV in there, but there's no TV. It's just eyeshadow. All right, looks like this. These are the colors that I got. They're very neutral, honestly. I don't know, but when I swatched it on my hand, it was cute, but this looks like it's made for someone Caucasian. I don't know why all the black people were telling me about this because all of her all of her blushes, none of those I could wear. Not really sure. And then it was like this palette and one more palette and that was it. And they weren't really dark enough for dark skin. So I'm, I'm confused. Y'all gonna have to... I'm gonna pray that these don't make me look straight ashy. Not gonna count it out until I actually try it, so we'll see. More Fenty Beauty. I got some cream blush. This was really pretty. The color is Summertime Wine. Oh, I love that name. Marc Jacobs. I saw this and was like, I'm just gonna get it. It's a gel eye crayon. One of my favorite drugstore foundations, Revlon Color Stay. I usually get mine in caramel. So I got two caramels and then I got a cappuccino. That's obviously not my color, but I wanted one darker because I've been out here in California and I'm just putting on shades. Everyone and their grandmother recommended this setting powder. That was probably the number one thing that I needed the most was setting powder and everyone was like this one. Laura Mercier, Mercier, Mercier. Girl, but yeah, I did not know which one to get so I got both colors just in case another drugstore foundation in Is it NYX or NYX? Someone help me out. I have mine in the color warm mahogany three pairs of cocoa lashes And I get mine in the style NYC I'm definitely gonna have to get way more of these because I just stock up dramatic or nothing very intense Okay, but wow. Wow Okay, is it? Oh, that's some high-tech stuff. Look at this I only bought this because of the models that they use. I had to get something. Every time I put on lipstick, I'm disappointed. This was very expensive. Don't be trash. Oh, right. why? It's not trash. It's actually kind of cute. Oh, snap. It's a little bit more pink than I would have liked. I would like a red, but this is actually a really cute little color. This Fenty Beauty Instant Warmth Bronzer. I don't know how to use this. Don't even know if this is the right color, but you know what? We're gonna try. And of course, some hair glue for my lashes. And lastly, Stunna Lip Paint. I'm not feeling that at all. Could have named that anything else. Got this in the color Underdog. Oh my God, Underdog. I hate this. 
I hate it already. I don't like the name or the packaging. I don't know, this just looks really big and bulky. Let's hope that I like the color. Come on, Fendi, come on. That is dark. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no. Um, what's the return policy after you already touched it? Definitely way too dark for me, giving me a, you know, I'm getting some kind of goth vibes. My lips feel like the Sahara Desert. I don't like this. That was a lot of money. Poop. Honestly, I'm not mad though. I did pretty well. I was expecting one of these lipsticks to be a fail. It's not that bad, but it's bad. I just noticed I totally forgot to get a high-end brand foundation. I think I wanted to try the Fenty Beauty one, but they had so many shades. I got overwhelmed and walked away and I was like, I'll do this later. And I forgot to go back. Well, good. That gives me a chance to ask you guys exactly what kind of foundation should I get? I have all the drugstore foundations, but now I need like, you know, the top level foundations. Let me know. Anyways, that is going to be it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so I can make more videos. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.